I recently wanted goddess braids so I went onto Amazon got a crochet kit and I'm taking you guys and showing you how I achieved these looks so keep watching this is the crochet hair I used. I have linked below if you are interested in it. When you get the kit from Amazon, it comes with seven packs of hair and within each pack you get 21 strands of hair. You also get this crochet needle. I'm also just showing you guys the rest of the tools I will be using to achieve this hairstyle. Please note that I am a beginner, I cannot braid, so this is literally like struggle hair, but hopefully you guys don't judge too much. So I'm just showing you my natural hair. As you guys can see, the shrinkage is for real. So I start off by parting my hair into four sections and I work one section at a time. And here is me basically doing all my individual lines for my box braids. I then take my shine and jam and start forming the individual box braid and I'm very generous with this because that's what the internet told me to do. Like this bit is pure struggle but I then do the three strand twist and yeah just watch and see. So this is what it looks like when my entire head is full of braids. I know I look like little DRT over here. So I'm now going to take the individual goddess braid and you'll see that the entry point is quite wide. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm not very good at showing this point and I think I'll probably struggle to explain what's happening. But I'm going to take my crochet hook, I'm going to take a braid, I'm going to loop it through, close the hook and then I'll pull everything through and the braid comes across and then i will take the bottom half of the extension loop it through the hole and just tighten i know that that sounds absolutely appalling but baby girl is learning <laughs> a lot of this is incredibly repetitive and it is trial and error the first three you're going to struggle with but thereafter it should be lemon easy breezy lemon squeezy just showing you guys the progression of everything and i think at this point all I'd used were three packs of hair or four packs of hair and this well went well into the night like for me I can't do this stuff anyway I persevered pretty much used up all the hair and this is how it looked like now it's time for the styling starting off by just basically taking my edges and i use this dax edge control stuff and this edge control comb and as you guys can tell the face is beat she's looking a bit more glam and i'm just trying up my edges using these wrapping strips because they just i prefer them to using anything else and i'm just going to tear everything apart and obviously because we've got this little halo thingy i'm just using a bit of makeup to try and make everything look cohesive and just to finish off the styling, I'm going to use some of this olive oil spray. And the first look is this half up, half down ponytail. It's super simple. All my bands that I use are basically just elastic bands. They don't have any wiring on them. And this is how everything looks. Like, yeah, I feel a bit cute, not going to lie. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. So whilst I've been wearing this hair, one of my other favourite looks has been like a high ponytail. So I've got this super long elastic band which I just snap and obviously I'm going to just take my hair out from the previous hairstyle, tip my hair over and just basically secure the high ponytail without kind of like I guess pulling my hair too much. So I find that bending your head over kind of like helps keep that and by using this hairband it just means that you're not tugging too hard at your hair and it is still being a protective hairstyle. So this is how this one looks. Yes queen, yes! So the next look is going to be a bun. So starting off from the high ponytail from before, I'm just going to basically wrap my hair around until it looks like a bun. This is a bit trial and error depending on how you like your buns, but for some reason I wanted it to be a bit messy. So this is the look. I'm not cut out to be a hair person. Look how tired I am. 
but once again we got there in the end and yeah i love this look i think it's very very elegant it just showcases like your neck your shoulders if you're wearing like a shoulderless top like i am but i think that this is like so incredibly adorable and cute what do you guys think which one of these is your favorite don't forget to leave a comment down below telling me which look is your favorite and whilst you're there please subscribe and also put the bell notification so you don't miss uploads from myself And for the final look, we're gonna keep things simple. We're just gonna take a hat and put it on. Guys, when you travel to places like anywhere where they sell amazing leather hats, I know if you're vegan, you don't wanna buy it, but I'd say like definitely buy them. I just love them. They're such a strong statement. I've obviously put some beads in my hair and I feel like a boho babe in this outfit. Like I'm such a soul sister, like this is just giving me life like when i'm in africa at the end of the year this is all you guys are going to be seeing like i just oh i just feel like i'm oh sorry i just need to shout out like this is just giving me so much joy so much spirit like i'm gonna keep quiet because i'm gonna put you guys up <laughs> And on that note, I'll wrap everything up. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Take care. Lots of love, Chazzy Wood. Mwah, mwah.